let's say you're browsing around the web and you find a meme that you like. You right click, download the image, then upload it to cloud storage so you can retrieve it later. It appears to you like you downloaded a file and then uploaded it somewhere else. And in some cases, that's exactly what happened. But in many other cases, it didn't. Here's what you probably don't realize. If that was a common or popular image, your cloud provider probably didn't store a separate copy just for you. They actually already had a copy of it because one of their other customers uploaded it at some point in the past. So when you uploaded your copy, all they did was create some new metadata and a pointer to the original. This is called deduplication. When a new file is ingested, the server recognizes its digital fingerprint and says, I already have that one. No need to store another. Your storage quota still gets used, of course, and you still pay for the storage, but behind the scenes, there's only one actual copy of the file with multiple pointers to it. This system is largely benign, but it does create an attack surface that didn't exist before. Since authorization is largely based on a file's tag, if a tag gets compromised, so does the file. In this paper, the authors have created a workaround, a proof of ownership scheme that forces users to authenticate their ownership of a file in a more comprehensive way. That way, if the tag gets leaked or logged or sniffed out, the attackers still don't get access to all your stuff. On today's episode of Journal Club, we'll unpack both how the vulnerability and their solution work. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, you'll be getting this full episode in text, audio, and video form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.